Hey you guys, CryptoXP here, and today what I have for you is a pulse decoder. Uh, the one I have here is a 2x6x1234, 2x6x4, but you could easily extend it by adding more redstone here, here, and then a repeater here. And uh, basically what this is, is if you have it connected to some sort of pulse shortener, such as this one, um, it will detect if the ticks are exactly even. So um, I'm not sure if uh, you could have it any less than what I have here. Most likely not. But um, if you just go ahead and add one more tick here, you can see that this now doesn't detect it. And if I add one tick here, since they're both even now, it does detect. But um, if this has one more tick than the other one, then it also does not detect it. So the both the sides have to have an even number of ticks to work. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. These can be used in selector panels, such as the one Etho has for his nether portal transport system. And uh, many other things as well. So, I guess uh, let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so to make this uh, pulse decoder, you want to start off with at least a 2x6 area. Uh, you want to go ahead and place a block down with a piece of redstone on top. Two repeaters with uh, one tick delay each going out of that block facing in this direction. Block with a redstone torch on top. Uh, another block on top of that redstone torch. Get a piece of redstone on top of a block that is to the side another block here and then you just want to place block there um, you'll draw your output from this block here go ahead uh, place something on top of it with a repeater facing into here so what this will do is power this inputting this and also um, outputting a signal here this uh, torch and redstone line feed into a repeater which goes into a block with a redstone torch on top uh, that will go down to a piece of redstone with a sticky piston with a block on top or a normal piston with some sort of gravity block uh, draw power out with a repeater go into a uh, that goes into a piece of redstone go ahead place down your sticky piston facing down a block and that's it uh, to get power into this, you'll need a specific number of ticks. So what that need, uh, what that means is that you need a pulse shortener. So just go one out like so, and then go ahead make this. Oh my God, my little brother's laughing. Ah, Draven, I told you, no talking or no sound. All right, guys, I apologize for that brief cut and the little unprofessional little brother in the room um, anyways back to what I was saying uh, in order to make this pulse decoder work you need a certain number of uh, ticks to go into it and that requires a pulse shortener so go ahead and go one block out from this at the at the least then you want to draw this out the same uh, number of blocks place down four repeaters all uh, except for the last one on one tick and the last one will be on a two tick delay place blocks on top of all those uh, redstone torch goes here and a uh, line of redstone just goes all the way across that uh, to finish it off you just want to put down a redstone torch here and your button and that's it you're done so uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to leave feedback of any kind like comment subscribe and um, I'll see you next time.